Hello, good evening everyone, and welcome to Lady J Love's channel. Please if like and subscribe. I'm a likable person and I'm talking about some really good stuff. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, it's time for my night prayer and I was just about to read it and I was going to go on and read it and lay down and then I decided that I will read it to you guys if you don't mind. It only take a minute. Pixie is tired, so she just no. What are you trying to do? Okay, I ain't gonna put you in it. You can lay down. I wanna lay down. She don't wanna be bothered. She thought when I mentioned her name, she thought I was gonna have her do something. She don't even want to be in the midst of it. But y'all, can I read this pretty? I, I, you know, and I, I promise I won't take too much of y'all time. These glasses, I hope y'all don't mind. I hope y'all like them. I just had to go. I had to get up out of my bed because I had three pair of reading glasses, two of which broke, and one I've lost. So I needed them. I had to get up a little bit. A dollar, a dollar tree. Got me a couple of pairs. A couple. I ain't gotta worry about it because I'm blind and I know it. Okay. Now, I ain't gonna take too much of that time. Chapter 6, verse 23. Now, why you gotta come down here all in my way and then making her jump down and get crazy? And I'm trying to read this. Well, Pixie gone, as you can see. She gone on a, on a mission. So I'm gonna read this right here. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. And it says, For the wages of Sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus. Who would not want that? Who, who would not want that? I do. Okay, this is the inspiration about it. This is the goodness that you would get out of it. It doesn't get much more clear than this verse. The wages of sin are death. The gift of believing in God is eternal life. All you got to do is just believe. Just believe and know that he is there. And I don't know why nobody would think that he ain't there. What did y'all think? This stuff just appeared on earth? Period, point blank? Because man showed and put us here. Okay, but what is y'all thinking? Really? It's just the ignorant part in some people, not all, some people that just refuse to allow themselves to believe something that they clearly know is true. And they clearly know this. Okay, this is the prayer. Christ my Lord, bringer of light unto the world. I pledge my service. I'm pledging my service. I'm going to do my part. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do right now. <laughs> really. I'm doing right what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm supposed to be talking to y'all about this. I feel, you know, the, the human part of me feel I could be doing something else with my time. Because y'all ain't going to listen to it anyway. You're not going to have y'all ain't going to subscribe. Half y'all ain't going to even like. So really, I feel like, really honestly, the human part of me feel I could be doing something else. This is, but see, God ain't got time to be here right now. So he needs, he wants me to be here to tell y'all, oh, there's many more out there too that's delivering the same message. So he picks and chooses in his own time. I just happen to be now. I guess my, I guess I'm right now to start speaking out because before there was no way half the stuff I'm going to even say to nobody. Okay, uh, this is like uh, overnight. 
situation here. But I'm going to do everything he asked me to do. And I'm going to do it with no problem. And I'm going to do it with people talking about me. I'm going to do it with people calling me crazy. I'm going to do it with people putting me down. I'm going to do it with people not liking my stuff just because it's me. I'm going to do it with people not not wanting to have nothing to do with me just because it's me. But it's okay. You ain't got to listen. What you won't do, others will. Okay? <laughs> others will. Let me read this stuff. Christ, my Lord, bringer of light unto the world, I pledge my service to you today and for the rest of my mortal days. Deliver me from evil, Lord, and bring me closer to the day that I shall stand next to you in eternal bliss. Just knowing I'm going to be with him. Just knowing I am going to be with him, side by side with him. I can't complain. I'm not gonna. Why? Why would I? Okay. <laughs> talking. I gotta stop and talking. I done lost my place. But listen, y'all listen to this stuff. Check this out. Okay. Deliver me from evil, Lord, and bring me closer to the day that I shall stand next to you in eternal bliss. Lead me not into temptation with the ability to recognize and withstand any sin attempts at my soul. I'm going to stand fast and strong, hot and heavy when somebody try to tamper with my soul or my spirit. He was, he's not going to allow it. He done built and equipped me. It took me all this time. Well, you know what? Everything happened in his time. But he was already building me and equipping me to withstand anybody trying to come up against me. Okay? You can't wish nothing on me. You can't think nothing on me. Because he's going to block it. He's going to block it every time. You're going to look like a fool when he's done with you for trying to tamper with his. Okay? Listen to this stuff. Because every there's a lot of people out there I need to keep hearing. I'm not, I'm not making no exception for me. I, but you know what? I just don't have a lot of rotten traits like a lot of people. Now, where was I? You in eternal bliss lead me into temptation with the ability to recognize and withstand any sin attempts at my soul. I ask to be absolved of the sins that I have committed. Remove them, Jesus. I've, I've prayed about it. I've asked you in the name of Jesus. Mindset, I know I've been cleansed in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, I have. Let me finish this, okay? Uh, be absolved of the sins that I have committed. I have been weak in thine eyes, merciful Lord, and know that I do not, I do not. I do not deserve the love that you give to me. And I know I don't. A lot of us don't. We all know it. We all guilty of that. I pray all this asking for mercy and strength. He just keeps giving me that every day. He'll give it to you too. He'll give it to you too. He'll give you all the things that you need if you allow it. That's all you got to do is allow it and say yes. Say yes. Say yes and you'll have eternal, everlasting, healthy, glorious, good life. I pray all this asking for mercy and strength and do all of this in honor of my service to you. 
I will be doing his service. I will serve him for the rest of my days. I don't know if that's a couple hours from now. I don't know if that's the end of the day tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be in the morning. I don't know if it'll be next week, but I will be doing all services to him and for him. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue doing what he's asked me to do. I'm going to continue loving everybody like you want me to. And you know what? And that's another thing. I know a lot of people don't believe that. I honestly, God, don't hate nobody. I, I just don't feel no type of hate towards nobody. None. Towards that, that person that, that, that don't like me, my color. Towards that person that think they higher sit higher than me. Towards that that person that been talking behind my back for all these years but laugh in my face. Towards that person that just don't wanna um, just don't wanna support me because it's me. Because they feel that that I'm above them. That's what what I think. That's the only thing I think, but it's absolutely okay. Like I said, the ones that don't do it, there will be others to replace them. I did nothing to hurt nobody. I did nothing to wrong nobody. All I'm doing is doing what God told me to do. I did, you know, like I said, I thought about doing this years and years ago. I was told by my daughter that she felt that I, I could do this, but it wasn't time then, and it wasn't right then, because I still was, in, I still, God was still working on me, he was still equipping me, and so it's alright if people think that I'm um, crazy or, or, or stupid for, for doing this, or, or think that I'm faking the funk, or you can think whatever you want to think about me, I just don't care no more, I don't care what nobody thinks, y'all ain't gonna make me And you sure as a heck ain't gonna break me. I'm not gonna lie. It. And he ain't either. So, you know, you call me what you want. Say, oh, she's nuts. She done lost her mind. She done lost her marbles. <laughs> Say it what you want. And it's alright with me. Maybe I have, but guess who I lost it for? I lost it for Jesus. Okay? I lost all my marbles for Jesus. And I'm willing. I'm willing to lose everything. I'm willing to give up everything for Jesus. It ain't nothing in this world that I would want more than I would want Jesus. Than I want Jesus. And it shouldn't be nothing more in this world that you guys want. That's why nothing is getting right here. That's why this this COVID is still taking off in the wind. <laughs> and it's going to keep taking off. Because cause there's so many people around that don't want to get their minds right don't want to believe it and you know what as long as you don't have faith in him and have faith that he can clear this up and take care of this and handle this issue he's not going to handle it because y'all want to sit back and still be ignorant about it y'all gonna wait Y'all gonna wait till your time done ran out. Listen, all I'm asking you to do is come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Start congregating in your churches. Okay, get back in church. A church that's open. If you've been vaccinated, if you even if you haven't been vaccinated, you can still come with a mask on. Come with a mask on. Okay, really, I really do, I really do want to put out there, I, me personally, I think people should go and get vaccinated. Okay, I'm just going to keep it real with you. you. Your chances are better if you get vaccinated. Okay, your chances are more, you got more of a chance of planning life if you get vaccinated. What is wrong 
I don't understand this stuff. What is you going to do when you're in that hospital bed and, and nobody can't be there for you? What are you going to do when once it's in your system, it can, you can't get it out, right? You can't get it out. You know, I, look, I took my take. Listen, it's either or. And I, I went on and took the or, okay? I got my vaccination, and I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy with it. I'm, I wouldn't take it back for nothing, okay? Because I just don't believe God is going to put me in here to harm the whole world like that. I just don't believe it. Okay, yes, there's there's gonna be riddle, riddles and diddles with this this situ, this medication because for the simple fact it had to be it had to come they had to come with up with it real quick. Okay, this is something they had to do. Okay, immediately it was caused for, but that don't mean that it don't work because that's what they had to do. Get your minds right. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Let go and let God. Let go and let God start congregating with your churches. Start doing things um, for for just for random people. Start doing things that you know God will appreciate you doing. That God will be pleased with you for doing. That God will be happy with you for doing. Start doing the things that you know that God wants you to do. The stuff that you know that he would do. Stop being so mean. It don't cost you nothing to be nice. Stop thinking about yourself all the time. Stop being selfish. Selfish. Ugh. Sick me how so many people out here selfish like that. Like so, like somebody owed them something. I wanna talk about people and talk like they all this and that. I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm gonna continue doing this. So please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Lady J Love. Peace. And um, please like my page. Like my channel. Just know that I'm real. I'm authentic. I'm genuine. I'm peace. And I'm love. Check in with J Love. Have a blessed night.